Hello my friends, we are doing well. In this video, we are going to be talking about sine number and their absolute values. So what are sine numbers? They are positive and negative numbers, just like that. Positive and negative numbers together are called sine numbers. So positive numbers may be written with a plus sign before the actual number. All right. Most of the time, positive numbers are written without any sign before the actual number. Some examples of positive numbers are 10, or you can write it as plus 10, 20, or you can write it as plus 20, 30, square root of 5, 100, square root of 10, pi. All these are positive numbers. So what about negative numbers? They are written with a, a negative sign before the actual number. And there is no other way of writing a negative number without putting the negative sign before the actual number. All right? So some examples are negative square root of 6, negative 3, negative 14, negative 5, and so on. So these are negative numbers. And these are positive numbers. The following is how we uh, represent sine numbers on uh, a number line. So we put 0 as origin and uh, to the right we put positive numbers like 1, 2, 3 and so on. That's why we have this arrow here. And in between these uh, integers we still have uh, numbers like um, you can have here square root of 2 you can have somewhere here pi they are all numbers the only difference uh, is that these are integers 1 2 3 are integers and the like square root of 2 is not an integer and pi is not an integer right? uh, pi is a number if you don't understand it we will see it more later so don't worry about the meaning of pi, it's just a number, not that. And uh, to the left, we still have numbers, but now we have negative numbers. So from here, we start from negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and we can, we can put more. That's why we have this arrow saying that we can keep drawing our number line. And the same thing here in between... Uh, 1 and 2, we, we have numbers. Between here, we still have numbers. So our negative square root of 2 can be somewhere here. Negative pi, right, can be somewhere here. So here, 0 is the origin, is the reference, 0. And from there to the right, we do have 1, 2, 3, and all numbers in between them. And to the left, we still have 1, 2, 3, but negative now with negative sign, and uh, still to negative infinite. Now that we know all that, let's talk about our second point, which is absolute values. We refer to absolute values uh, to determine how far is our value from the origin 0, right? So if I have this number line with my origin 0, and I have a number here. How far is that number from my origin? If I still have a number here, how far is that number from my origin? Here we are talking about the sine numbers and uh, we are no more restricted to whole numbers. So each side of the zero we are working it can be positive number, it can be negative number. And we represent the expression absolute value by this pair of vertical line. This, this is the symbol of our absolute value. So for absolute value of 3, we will write this. That's absolute value of 3. Same thing for absolute value of a negative 6. We will write this absolute value of negative 6. Note that the absolute value of a number is always positive. 
no exceptions. Even if the number that we are using is negative, its absolute value should give us always a positive number. So what is the result for absolute value of negative three? Let's use uh, our number line. I have this, I have my origin, which is zero, a reference. Negative numbers are this way, left. I have negative one, negative two, negative three, All right? How far is my negative three to zero? Let's count. This is negative three to here, that's one unit. From this here to here, that's two units. From here to zero, that's three units. So absolute value of negative three is three. What about absolute value of three? Let's still use our number line. The reference is zero, one, two, three. How far is my three from zero? One unit, two unit, three unit. So absolute value of three is equal to three, okay? Let me rewrite it here. Absolute value of negative three is three. Absolute value of three is three. So from here, we don't need to be using our number line anymore. We just go straight. Absolute value of uh, negative 100, for instance, is 100. Absolute value of 100 is equal to 100. Uh, absolute value of uh, negative square root of 7 is 7. Absolute value of square root of 7 is still 7. There are more example. Absolute value of pi is pi. Absolute value of uh, negative pi is pi. See, you don't see any negative number as a result. Even if the number inside the absolute value is negative, the result should always give us a positive number. So sometimes, instead of finding the absolute value of numbers, we can be asked to find a number or numbers that have a given absolute value. For example, find two numbers that have a given absolute value 73. Okay, for this question, our answer should be 73 and negative 73. Why? Because absolute value of 73 is equal to 73. Absolute value of negative 3 is also equal to 73. So we have first number, which is 73, and the second number, which is negative 73, and they both give the same result, which is 73. Sometimes the, care, the question can be, find a number that has a given absolute value 73. In this case, the question says a number. Instead of asking previously two numbers, here we are asked a number. In this case, we have two options. And from them, we have 73 and negative 73. But we don't give both. We choose any of these two as a result. You can say it is 73, or you can say it is negative 73. Your answer will be right for any of them that you choose, 73 or negative 73. Now, do this by yourself. First, find the absolute value of the following numbers. Square root of 14, negative 25, 32, and 0. For 0, I have a hint for you. The hint is that the distance between 0 and 0 is 0. So what is the absolute value of 0? Next, find two numbers that have the given absolute values. 13, square root of 6, or pi. Okay. Put your answer in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, 
Also, activate the notification bell so you won't miss any new upload. I'm stopping here and see you for the next topic.